Hello everyone, Giovanni here and welcome back to my channel. We are back with episode 19 of our FIFA 22 Aston Villa career mode and we are coming at the back of the last episode where we broke our places into the Europa League knockout stages. We still have a few games to play in the group stage but we have essentially booked our places for the knockout stages and we are playing a pretty decent start to the season so far in the Premier League. 12 games played, 24 points taken, not a bad start to the season so far. But we do have a tough run of fixtures coming up in this episode. As you can see above the Manchester United, I think we also have Chelsea and Arsenal. So we could drop from 4th all the way to probably 8th or 9th in the Premier League by the time this episode is over. We're going to try and give it our best in, in, in this tough run. So if you're just not checking out the channel, please subscribe down below. I appreciate everyone who's been here so far. Smash a like on this video as well. Let's get this episode going. All right, so looking at the calendar, we do have Manchester United, and then right after that is Chelsea and then Arsenal. I mean, unbelievable fixtures coming up here. Three hard games just like that, back to back to back, and we could lose our fourth spot, that's for sure. <laughs> we could definitely drop a lot. Denmark international offer. No, no, no. Give me the USA offer, and I'll consider that. I'll consider that. We can we can get Tyler Adams back in the team as well. But Ben Yedder with 14 goals, Miner with 11, Lukaku 9, Danny Ings 9. So Danny Ings has to keep up there. But Ben Yedder, my goodness. We do have Chelsea coming right after this. So there's not really any any time to say we could rest some players here. Um, I could start Triore, but he's a little bit knackered. Yeah, they, they did play the last game. I just realized I played most of them in the last game because... I wanted to give my starters a rest for this run we're about to go on. So, yeah, I'll keep my team exactly how it is here. And that's the Manchester United team. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer style. Lenny Luffy McGuire at the back. Already have seen your mistake. Try to make Tomlin in the midfield. Another mistake. Our midfield of Adams and Donny van der Beek. It's already better than McTominay, Fred. Luis Alberto as their camp. Pogba, Sancho, Ronaldo. That's a team that looks beatable. And I fancy our chances here against this Manchester United team, especially with the team we have built so far. Donny faces his former club. I just realized, is this the first time we're playing against Manchester United since we bought Donny van der Beek? I think so. I think so. That'll probably be the title of the video. Donny faces former club. <laughs> Aston Villa takes on Manchester United live from Villa Park. As you can see, Scott McTominay leads the line for Manchester United. He's the captain. He's the captain. Scotty McTati. He leads the line. Make sauce. And look, we're ready for this. Look at our guy there. Mateos Ginter. We have Ginter and Lecroy at the back. Who are we to fear? Ronaldo, right? And Luis Alberto, we should be up for this game. We trust ourselves here. It's going to be a massive game here. And the first half is underway. Donny van der Beek. Lovely true pass to Leon Bailey. He skipped past Dalo. Bailey cut it back. Oh, Emiliano Buendia. How did he miss that? That could have been a fresh goal for Aston Villa. All he knows is he has a little grin on his face. Lucky to get away with that one. Come on, Bailey. Good job. Now it's Donny van der Kool. Good play so far here from Villa. Adams off the bar. Oh my goodness, what a shot. And just off the bar there, very close. Jaden Sancho. Oh, how did that not stay? How did that not go out there? Come on, go tackle him from Ginter. No, no, no. Offside. Oh, there he is. There he is. That goes the first half whistle. Manchester United were probing there the last minute of the first half, but they couldn't get a goal. It's no, no at the break. And if you're Aston Villa, you're a little bit disappointed. You shouldn't be up at least one nil in this game. They have created several chances. They got seven shots. And, you know, they got to put their chances away here. Otherwise, you get punished. That's how the game is. But so far, it's nil-nil. Can Aston Villa grab a win in this game? Second half is underway. Oh, no. It's one good interception. Foster Jaden Sancho. Go tackling there from Ginter. Now it's Luis Alberto. Cross it back. What a save. Oh, what are we doing in the back? Oh, my goodness. What are we doing in the back there, man? This game, man. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How did Martinez and, 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 and as a cash oh, against her, how did they make a mess of that one there? Good shot from Jaden Sancho initially here. Good save from Martinez. And then it's just calamities at the back. Ginter and Martinez get in each other's way here. I mean, what are they doing back there? Oh, this game, man. We're 1-0 down to United. Triori. It's against Fred. Just keep running. Oh, Fred. Oh, Fred. Yes, I know you're going to lose it, Fred. Nice Ings. Oh, Danny. Oh, Danny Ings. No, man. Oh, my goodness. This game. 
We lost to a dodgy goal, man. Come on. Ah, uh, screw this game, man. One goal, you know, that was so shit, too. They were so shit. It's an like only ball, man. This is so lucky. Individual, it's not even, it's not even individual brilliance, it's individual errors, man. Uh, what, what was Martinez and Gentor playing out there? I just, I just talked about Gentor being a, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know how we lost that one, man. It's so frustrating sometimes. We should have won that game, at least tired, especially with the chances that we created. That was just, mmm. Uh, all right, but we, 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 we can't even be too pissed. We got Chelsea coming up next. We are dropping down the table. Now, United are right above us again. Oh, my. And then we have Arsenal coming up next. Yeah, we could drop further. We could drop further. We're not going to make any more changes to that team. Actually, I'm going to start John McGinn if he's fit. I like Tyler Adams a lot, so I, I don't know. He's going to give a lot of pace for that, but... Give him that combine a go as well. Got to rotate. Got to rotate the squad. Try your real get a start. And I kind of want to rest Watkins. But Wesley has no pace. Yeah, I'll rest Watkins. He's played three games of the bounce now. Can he play three straight games, Watkins? He probably can. But Chelsea are an annoying team to play against. Okay, we'll start with this team. We'll start with this team. We'll go with that for now. And that's the Chelsea team playing a 5 2 3. Conte and Gilmore. Aspiri Cueta, James, Christensen, Cholopa. Lukaku, Mount, and Timo Werner. Aston for Bridge as well. This is going to be difficult. And we are live from Stamford Bridge to take on Chelsea, which will be a much difficult game than the United game at home. I think that was our chance. We should have... After three games that we probably could have won, I think we should at least gain something from United. But look, there's still anything possible here. Chelsea are a very difficult team. They're playing five in the back. It's going to be very hard to break them down. And uh, we have made a few changes to the midfield and on the wings as well. So hopefully that will give us a little bit of dynamic, a different dynamic to this game. They're playing Gilmore as well, who's a very good young lad. And uh, we'll see how we do in this one. Can we stop Big Rum and Chelsea? The first half is underway. we we'll play here so far from Aston Villa. Lovely switch of play from Danny Ings. It's with Spinazzola. Finds. What a true pass. Oh, what a miss by Emiliano Buendia. That true pass from John McGinn was everything. Oh, that was their chance to take a 1-0 lead. It comes off his shoulder there. With the pressure from Cholo, but he couldn't really direct it where he wanted it. Close, but not close enough. Alonso. There we go. Good interception there. Oh, referee, come on. Come on, referee. We were only attacking. We had a little bit of momentum there, but the first half comes to a close. It's no no at the break. Lukaka. <laughs> no attempt for him. We kept him quiet. The Ginter has been on his ass like glue. And I love it. I love it. But you better not make any silly mistakes. Liverpool are winning against West Brom and United are tied against West Ham, man. We should have beat Manchester United. I just know we should have. All right, we're going to bring Watkins in. There we go. And we're going to play... Um, who should we put up there, actually? We need someone with a little bit of shooting. This shooting is 51. 76 shooting. All right. We'll let John McGinn play there. And then we'll bring um, Tyler Adams or Donny van der Beek. Actually, Donny has an 80 shooting. We'll bring Donny van der Beek in. He play Cam. He can actually play Cam. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and get the second half going here and see if we can have a shock result at Stamford Bridge. Lukaku. Still with Lukaku. Oh, back to Lukaku. Lukaku cuts it back. We'll play from Chelsea. It's a penalty for Chelsea. Oh, my goodness. How is that a pen, man? This episode will be the end of me. This game, man. What is happening here? Oh, come on. You can't step on people's toes. You're playing a game of football, man. Of course we're going to step on your toes. The ball is on your foot, man. Exactly. Get out of here, referee. He wants Chelsea to win this game. Lukaku to take it. Die off. Mm. Man. Straight down the middle. Remenu Lukaku puts Chelsea up 1-0. Oh, that's some dodgy penalty call there from the referee. He goes straight down the middle as well, man. Oh, my goodness. 1-0 to Chelsea, Belly Gilmore makes way, and Aston Villa have a mountain to climb. Only two added minutes. I mean, by the time they get off the pitch, the two added minutes is damn finished, man. 
Another one nil loss to this damn AI. They're gonna blow, isn't he? He's gonna blow the damn whistle. One nil loss to Chelsea. One nil loss to Manchester United. We played two games and no goals we've scored. What is going on here, man? Danny Ings, I, I, I don't know what's going on. He hasn't scored in uh, probably five games now in the league. Uh, I'm going to have to change Danny Ings. He's, he's going to a rough spell right now. Rough, rough spell. No goals for him. Two games, two losses, only by two goals as well. Uh, come on, boys. We got to do better. Liverpool won 3-0. Everton won 2-1. The United drew 1-1. One, one. That's why we, we, we should have beaten Manchester United. We definitely should have beaten Manchester United. But we're dropping. We're dropping. We're, we're dropping very fast now. Uh, youth report. What, what does he have to say? Sobbing me off. Dude. You need to be fit, man. You need to be fit. You're tired. We have Arsenal coming up. Okay, Arsenal are fifth. We have to win this game against Arsenal. We are falling far away from that, you know, league title. I mean, we're probably not even in a league charge anymore. But Danny Ng still at nine goals. 2022 20, player of the year. Your nominees are Mbappe, Salah, Neymar, and uh, Messi. All right. We'll see who will grab that. Patrick for Salah as well. The league table, man. It's not looking too good. It's not looking too good, but we are playing at home. You know what? I'm resting Danny Ings. He's, he's not. I don't know what's going on, but I'm definitely resting Danny Ings. Uh, Triore, we could start. Ramsey, we could play up there, but he has no pace. Uh, Valencia, Chukui. Valencia. Who's this kid? 71 pace. Vesali, 76 pace. We could play him up there. But we'll play Triore. I'd rather play Triore up there. Watkins will get a start. Emiliano Buendia. Um, Adams comes in as well. We have to get a win here at some point. That's the Arsenal team up in the 4 2 3 1. They have Correa up there, Odegaard, Everton, Lokonga, El Nini, Saka, Kaiwa Enrique, Mari, Tamuyasu, and Bellerin. Looks like Bellerin is back. <laughs> All right, come on, boy. Let's try and get a win in this episode, man. Well, what a game. We have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week, and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. All right, well, two back to back losses here for Aston Villa. I mean, if you look at the teams they played, maybe you say uh, you can't really hold them that high, but they still have to do better here. No goals in the last two games. They have to go ahead and get a goal in this game now. They have a new. Striker up there with Ollie Watkins instead of Danny Ings. The manager wants to try something different here. Will that be in their benefits or will that still prove to be their problem? Let's go ahead and get this game going here. The first half is underway. Come on, Matty Cash. There we go. No, Ginter, man. Now it's Odegaard. Every time. Got it back. It won't let me switch. It won't let me switch to the player. Oh my god, this game, man. Ah, uh, it won't let me switch. Oh, get out of here. What are you drinking, man? What are you drinking? I mean, what what is happening here? I saw the gap open up. It won't let me it, it switched to Ginto and I ran away from him, man. He just slides it across for Bikai Osaka and he's lost it past Martinez. One nil to Arsenal. Unbelievable what's going on here in this episode. Come on, Cash. There we go. Only one added minute to this first half. Come on, Watkins. Watkins gets in there. Right on the stroke of halftime. Only Watkins. We finally score a goal. Took us three games, but we got a goal. And it comes from Watkins playing the center forward. He smashes that past Leno. About time, man. Oh, good play here. Takes a touch. Sees a gap. He just goes for a goal. What a lovely finish. What a lovely finish by Oli Watkins. Finally, we're back 1-1 one, one in this game. Right on the stroke of halftime as well. Oh, I was just thinking, how on earth are we losing this game, man? We can't lose three games in a row. That's unlike us. Come on, boys. Have some fighting spirits for your Villa fans here. We're playing at home as well. This Arsenal team is not that good. They're not that good. United are tied 1-1. That's why we should... West Ham are tied with Chelsea as well. <gasps> uh, I'm going to get one of the... Oh, Traore is knackered, you know. All right. Ings better not let me down this time. He better not let me down. <sighs> I'm keeping Donnie. Donnie is playing very well. We could bring him again. Actually, we'll play him again. Play him again. Play him again. Let's go ahead and get the second half going here. 1-1 uh, one, one in this game so far. Bikai Osaka, man. 
Now it's our nanny. How is he that wide open? How is Correa sitting in the box having a cup of tea? Right? Look at him. Look at the amount of space. He, look at the amount of space Correa has. He might as well just have his grocery list up there and just go shopping. Unbelievable defending here. We're down again in this game. 2-1 to Arsenal. Smith Rowe. Was there an update or something to this game? Was there an update to this damn game? We're getting smashed 3-0, 3-1 by Arsenal here. Smith Rowe does whatever he wants. Whatever he wants. In the box. Ticket, no one can come to him. No one can come close to him to even close him down there. Unbelievable. It's the worst of the last of the, of the, of the three games we played so far in this episode, man. Two other minutes to this game as well. I mean, how? We're not this bad of a team, man. We're not this bad. Uh, he's going to blow. Let's go, Bailey. He's the only bright spot in this team. He's the only one still fighting for something. Get in there. Uh, if only we didn't concede three goals, man. We could have tied it. Why is he celebrating? Go and get the ball. It's already game over. But at least he's finally back on the score sheets. We can get this horrible game, this horrible episode behind us. This is one of the worst runs ever. Chelsea lost, United lost, and Arsenal lost, man. In in the back to back to back games as well. We we, we deserve at least a draw from Manchester United game. This one also we deserve a draw. Chelsea the Chelsea we got done by a dodgy penalty as well. The, the whole game just dumped me over this episode. United won three one. Chelsea lost to West Ham two one, man. Ah, uh, and we have the Europa League coming. I think that's the last game of the Europa League, isn't it? It is the last game. Well, you know what? We're just gonna sim that game. We're going to sim the Europa League game, and then the next episode, we'll bring the Manchester City, Stoke City, and then um, Everett, Tottenham, Tottenham game. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and stop here for now. Thank you for watching again. What an episode has been. So frustrating. But we move on to the next one, and I'll see you guys. Take care.